All right, so this is a tricky question. Tennis player has swings her racket with a speed of 11 meters per second. With da, 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 da. So the question I've got is I'm essentially going to use the law of conservation of momentum. This is a momentum problem, P, let's see, rho, equals M1 V1 plus M2 V2. So this is the tennis racket, the one, and the two is the tennis ball, is equal to M1 V1 afterwards plus M2 V2. This is the before, right? Before the collision, and this is after, right? So what do I know about the, the tennis racket? My tennis racket has a mass of one kilogram. It says 1,000 grams, but I'm going to put it in kilograms. And it's moving at a speed of 11 meters per second. The ball is 0 0.06 kilograms. That's 60 grams inverted times a velocity of, now watch this, it's moving at negative... 21 meters per second. It's approaching in the opposite direction. Got it? So I know everything on the left, right? Equals the mass, which is one kilogram, and the velocity of the racket, I don't know. So we'll just leave that V1, plus M2, the mass of the 0 0.06, this is the ball, and it's now traveling at positive 38 meters per second. So this is the entire equation. You have an equation with only one unknown. You do simple algebra, and I get the velocity to be equal to 7.5 meters per second. So that's the answer to, if you will, the part. But if the tennis ball and the racket are... So then the next question is, what would be the force exerted, the average force? And so if you recall... Um, momentum equals mv, but it also equals force times time. Now, you know what the time is. Uh, they gave you the time. It was 11 milliseconds. I have 11. The, the paper says 10, but that's fine. But what do I do on the m and the v? This is the tricky part, is the momentum change for the ball would be 0 0.06. That's the mass, right? Kilograms, 6 kilograms, kilograms, or 0 0.06 kilograms. But the vel velocity is tricky. It's really technically, it's the change in momentum. So this is m times the change in the velocity. So the change in the momentum, watch what I do here. I'm going to say it goes from 11, subtract, minus 21. It was coming in at 11, or the racket was moving at 11, and then it was moving at negative 21, right? And so it's 11 minus 21 is equal to F times, and I said 11 milliseconds, which is 0 0.011 seconds. And now, and this is 11 minus negative 21, which is you add them together, right? Because uh, minus a negative. And now you solve for F, and I get the force to be 321 meters.